All right, so I know most of us have had at one point or another some shaky footage that we've shot, usually probably handheld, and we were trying to be as smooth as possible, but you just can't quite get it very smooth, especially without a gimbal. And so today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to stabilize that footage in After Effects. So we're not really stabilizing the footage as we shoot it. I plan to come out with a video on how to make your shots a little more smooth, a few tips and tricks. But in this video, we are doing post-production and I'm gonna teach you guys how to stabilize that footage. So let's jump into After Effects and get to it. All right, so we have After Effects open and you're gonna have your clip that you wanna stabilize. And if you notice, it's just uh, one of my friends walking backward and we're trying to be as smooth as possible, you know, stepping on the heel to toe to our feet, but it's still not working very well. We didn't have a gimbal at the time. And so the main thing that we actually want to stabilize here is uh, we wanna stabilize our subject, which is me here. Now, if you were to have a gimbal, you would be able to stabilize obviously the whole footage. And so everything would look like a smooth video. But in cases like this, unless you're gonna use something like a warp stabilizer, where it's gonna most likely warp the pixels to really try to stabilize the whole scene, which could and usually does look a little weird. The only thing you can really do is either stabilize a certain part of your video. And so for us, we're gonna stabilize the subject. If you wanted to, you could probably actually stabilize the background instead. And you'll kind of understand what I mean here. But the first thing we need to do is select our clip, come over to track motion, and then we're gonna to have to track a certain point on our clip here. And so since we want the subject, I'm gonna choose a point that has good contrast. And so for me, I initially tried it with my ear, but since my ear, it has good contrast, but it's kind of big that it was shaky. And we don't want that, we want good track. So I'm actually gonna come down to this nice little dark shadow on my zipper of a backpack here. I'm gonna make that a little smaller. And uh, if you guys don't know what this is, I'll link it above to a, uh, another video where I talk about tracking here. But pretty much the little box is what you're tracking. The big box is for the next track point data. It searches for those pixels. So you don't want either of them too big. Once you have that, come over and hit play and allow your data or allow your tracker to track your video. All right, so our information was tracked and it's a pretty good track, I will admit that. And so with that said here, we can scroll through it if we'd like just to see. Yeah, looking good connects it out of that layer, bring it back here. We want to right click new and create a new null object. And all this is gonna do is we're gonna take the tracked information and put it on this null object. Because otherwise this null object really isn't anything, hence a null object. All right, so we are gonna come back, select our shaky footage clip, come up to shaky footage and then we are going to go to edit target make sure your null is selected hit ok and hit apply actually sorry make sure you're at the beginning of your clip hit apply x and y hit ok all right so now all this is done is it's taken that tracked information and it's put it on the null and so if you notice the null is going to stay right where we want it to on that tracked data point Perfect, looking good. All right, so the last thing we need to do is right click new camera and you can mess around with what kind of uh, focal length you want, whether you want 30 mil 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter, et cetera. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the pick whip icon, which is parenting the camera to the null object. And so pretty much what this is then gonna do is it's gonna move the camera with the motion of the null object, hence, the camera, imagine the null object and the camera is focusing on this null object and they're moving together. It's almost gonna be like the place that null object is at. So that point we tracked isn't moving at all and everything else around it is moving because the camera is keeping that stabilized, that null object that we had, the data point we tracked, sorry. So if we were to scrub through our footage here, you notice that nothing's really happening. And the last thing we need to do is actually come down to shaky footage and make it a 3D layer. After we do that, you'll then see that our footage is now stabilizing around this 
point that we have tracked here. And look at that. And so you'll notice, like I said at the beginning, that with post-production on trying to stabilize footage, it's really, really tough to stabilize the, stabilize the whole scene. And so for us, we're just trying to stabilize the subject here. And if you notice, I'm pretty stabilized. I'm not moving at all. But you notice our background is kind of moving around a little bit. And that's just something that's going to happen when you try to stabilize footage, especially shaky footage in post. And so then the next thing comes up where we have our video not fitting our full screen. So if we were to export this, we would get black bars and stuff like that. So the only way that you can get around this is either adding maybe some uh, cinematic bars, but then again, you might have some side ones. And so we're going to have to come down to shaky footage, hit S for scale, and then bump up scale to probably about like 115 ish somewhere around there you could probably maybe even go a little less I don't know, that's looking good and then our video fills our screen here so when we export it there's going to be no issue so i hope you guys kind of understand what was going on here in this tutorial and uh to understand that when you shoot shaky footage it's going to be really hard to stabilize the whole scene. Um, most likely you're going to be able to stabilize a certain part of the scene, such as a subject. So for me, it was kind of like my whole me, I guess. But uh, sometimes it might just be a face. It might be an object. So just keep that in mind when you're shooting and uh, look out for another tutorial coming here soon where I will go over tips and tricks to stabilize your footage when you're actually shooting the video. That way you don't have to mess with it as much in post pre-planning. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.